Hi. First of all, just want to thank uh, those of you who have reached out to me and let me know you're actually uh, trying the One Week Model Prayer Project. I've heard from several people who are doing that and said it's been a huge encouragement in their prayer life uh, that it simplifies some things for them. Or For many people, they've done it before many years ago, and it's just kind of a good reminder and a way to get back into it. So thank you. If, you, if you're doing it, if it's making a difference, if it's helping, please let us know. We'd love to hear that. Maybe even post it on social media. Let other people hear what's going on in your prayer life. I think that'd be fantastic. If you haven't done it yet or you've just kind of forgotten, it's not too late. Uh, take some time every day, either first thing in the morning or before you go to bed or whenever you do, you know, a sit down prayer time with the Lord and kind of walk through that model prayer of Jesus. We typically call it the Lord's Prayer and use it as a guide. I believe it'll be an encouragement and, and just kind of a neat time with the Lord. I, I, I do this regularly with lots of passages of scripture, not just with the Lord's Prayer. But the other day I was going through the Lord's Prayer and, and I never got off the father part of it. I just spent my whole time uh, interacting with the Lord and, and so grateful to him for his role as father in my life. And so I encourage you to do it and not too late to get started. Three quick things, and that's all I have for you today. Number one, just a, a quick reminder. Uh, we have prayers tonight at the church from 7.30 to 9 p.m. If you're able to come, if you're comfortable coming, uh, every 10 people or fewer will break up into different rooms all over the church. So we'll be following the social distancing guidelines 7.30 to 9. If you can't get here right at 7.30, you can come late. If you need to leave early, no problem. But it's a really encouraging time and an opportunity for us to pray together, to seek God together, and, uh, and to do that within the, the guidelines. Number two, I've heard from a number of people who have concerns that wonder, you know, are we following the guidelines like we need to? Absolutely. If you have any questions about that, please don't hesitate to call me or text me. I'll be glad to explain to you. We are, we are completely committed to following the guidelines, completely committed uh, to honoring our government and to being good citizens. And so uh, there are possibly parts of the guidelines that maybe you don't understand, but I promise we're committed to that. If you have any questions, please feel free to call and, and I'll be happy to walk through that with you. And finally, number three, if you need anything at all, we have resources to help you. We are your family here at the church. We love you. We are praying for you. We're praying for one another all the time. But if you need help getting groceries, if you need help picking something up, if you need help, you're running low on money, you need help uh, with bills or things like that, you've lost your job and you need advice on how to connect with uh, some of these uh, benefits the governments are providing, let us know. We have resources. We can help you. So don't go through this alone. Even though we're a little bit isolated, don't go through this alone. Walk through this with your church family. Let us love you and help you and encourage you, encourage you and uh, provide for you where, you where you may need that, where we may be able to. God bless you. God is good. He loves you. I hope to see some of you here tonight uh, from 730 to 9. If you can't be here, you can still pray. God is on the throne. Be a blessing.